Hello everyone and welcome to the webinar. My name is Akriti Jain and I'll be presenting you the webinar on post-study work opportunities in UK, US, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, Germany and Ireland. Just to brief you about myself, I'm an experienced education management professional working with meetuniversity.com on a capacity of senior expert for study abroad. I'm a certified senior counselor for overseas education, holding more than six years of experience in working with over 400 universities and colleges globally, while well helping over 1,100 students from different parts of the country. Introducing you to meetuniversity.com, it's a leading college search and information website for students looking to pursue higher education abroad. The website offers one of the largest course information listing of undergraduate and postgraduate courses from US, UK, Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, and many more countries. Users can get information about courses according to the streams or popular heads like management, engineering, architecture, property and planning, art and designing, medical biology, health sciences, business and management, finance, engineering and technologies, humanities, law and journalism, education, professional and training, mathematics, language and linguistics, cultural studies, art and environmental studies, and also IELTS test preparation. And today we are going to highlight the work opportunities pertaining to different countries and their visa rules. So we'll begin with United Kingdom. Every country's work authority, especially if it's post work permit, demands fulfillment of each and every laid rules and regulation. The scenario with UK is no different. There are various avenues in which you can file your work permit. All you need is to study and understand various categories, identify which tier category your profile will be falling into, and process your application accordingly. To give you more details, I have listed down the common few. Uh, first one is tier one, that is a graduate entrepreneurial category. Post, -body, uh, post study work visa scheme officially ended on 6th of April 2012. The UK border agency has stopped processing application for tier 1 post-study work visas. Those on tier 4 student visas wishing to remain in the UK after graduation will now need to qualify for a tier 2 visa. In many cases, only graduate who have an offer of a skilled job from a sponsoring employer under the tier 2 of the point-based system will be able to stay and work in UK. The government has established a new tier 1 graduate entrepreneurial rules under which up to 1,000 students annually can stay in the UK to work on and develop business ideas that are considered to be world-class, innovative business plans. Entrepreneurs who meet the requirements under the new visa route system will be able to stay in the UK and then switch into the tier one entrepreneurial visa. If they invest 50,000 pounds in their business, this should enable them to stay in the UK on a long-term basis. This visa is aimed at students who have completed their degrees and wish to set up a business in the UK. To be eligible, the university must agree to sponsor or endorse you and monitor your progress. If you are interested in applying for this visa, you must approach your department with a draft of your business plan. If the departmental staff agree that this plan can be developed, they will liaison with the university's human resource department we will produce a letter of endorsement which you can submit with your application. You can apply within three months of the date of endorsement letter, but please be aware that institution can only endorse a maximum of 20 graduate entrepreneurs per year. You must also have 945 pounds in your bank account, which has been available for at least 90 days or 1890 pounds is applying from outside the UK. Please note that you cannot apply if you are, uh, have previously held tier one post-study work visa leave. If you are successful, you will be granted one year to develop business plan and will be allowed to work for up to 20 hours per week. Leave can be extended for a further 12 months maximum if it appears likely that you will then qualify for tier one entrepreneurial visa. Applications can be made from outside the UK as well as within the UK. If applying in the UK, you can only apply for post. In person applications are not permitted. You will not be able to switch to another visa in the UK apart from tier one, entrepreneurial and tier two. For tier two, general visa, most students use the tier two general visa if they wish to work in the UK. The requirements for tier two are more flexible for those applying in the UK with a valid tier four visa. 
provided they have studied on the CEPA. The requirements are more flexible for those applying for a PhD level job or earning over 70,000 pounds per annum. For tier 4 general visa holders wishing to switch to tier 2 general visa, the requirements are you must uh, find an employer willing to offer you a job or sponsor you. The employer must be licensed to the home office. You must be offered a job which pays at least 20,800 pounds per year. 20,500 if your certificate of sponsorship will be issued before 6th of April 2015. You must have bachelor's, master's or PhD degree or have completed first year of a PhD postgraduate diplomas unless um, PGCE or PGDE teaching qualifications will not be accepted. If you are applying in the UK and you still have the leave remaining on your student visa, your employer will not have to pass the resident labor market test. This means that your employer will not have to search the UK and other European job market and prove that you were the most suitable applicant before they can offer you the job. Furthermore, your application will not affect the restricted number of uh, non-European applicants that your employer can offer a job to. This will make much, it much easier for an employer to offer you a position in their company. Once you submitted a tier 2 application, you can take a permanent full-time job while waiting for the visa to be processed. If your application is successful, you will be given a visa valid up to three years, which you can extend for further three years. After five years, you can apply to settle in the UK, provided you are earning at least 35,000 pounds per year, or if your job is on the shortage occupation list, it's a PhD level job, or if you have a tier two ministry of religion lead. For tier four general visa, provided that you have studied a course or at least 12 months in length, uh, in length, your tier 4 visa should expire four months after the course completion date. During these four months, you can work full time provided you have finished your course, including handling in all the outstanding coursework and dissertation. You are subject to the usual student employment restrictions, so you cannot be self employed or a professional sports person or an entertainer, or you cannot take a permanent vacancy. At the time of four months, you must uh, either leave the UK or have applied for another visa. If you apply for a work visa, that is a tier two visa, you may continue to work full time while the home office um, process your application. For tier four doctorate extension scheme, this is a current PhD student who require a visa for 12 months work experience on completion of their course study. To apply, you must have a current tier four visa. If you have left the country and returned to UK on a student visa, visitor visa or a general visa, you are not eligible to apply. You must apply within 60 days of completion of your course. You cannot apply once your course has been completed. You should apply using the online tier for application form only. You must apply in the UK. Application outside the UK will not be accepted. You must show evidence of 1,640 pounds for maintenance. This must be held in the bank account in your name or in the name of a parent or guardian for at least 28 days. You will continue to be sponsored by the university and must meet certain contact points. You will, con um, if you are required an ATAS certificate for your course, you will uh, usually be expected to produce one from a doctorate scheme as well. However, if you apply on uh, days 1 to 27 within the 60 days window in which you are permitted the, um, to submit your application, the Home Office will accept your old ATAS certificate. ATS is basically for students who are applying for a postgraduate um, study in certain sensitive subjects, knowledge of uh, which could be used in programs to develop weapons of mass destruction or their means of delivery will need to be applied for an academic technology approval scheme, that is ATAS certificate. You must provide all documents as required for tier 4 application. There are few Work restrictions on tier 4 doctorate extension scheme visa. The only employment you are not permitted to take is the professional uh, sports person or course coach or as a doctor or dentist in training. Once you have applied for the doctorate scheme and completed your course, you may start work on these conditions before your visa has been processed. The visa is for 12 months maximum and will start on the course completion date given on the um, CAS. The starting date of the visa cannot be changed, even if your studies take longer than expected. You cannot study full time on this visa, only supplementary studies permitted. Dependents can um, also apply either from inside the UK or outside the UK. 
you can switch in the uk from tier 4 doctorate extension visa to tier 2 general tier 1 graduate entrepreneur or any other category in tier 1 visa for uh, the last it's tier 5 that is the government authorized exchange this visa route is aimed at graduates who require work experience or professional training for their field of work but is limited to organizations offering schemes or university offering postdoctoral research projects eligibility requirements are funds of 945 uh, pounds for at least 90 days the uk recognized degrees if switching from tier 4 or at least 12 months of completion of a phd course an employer does not intend to offer you work once the scheme has been completed you can switch to this visa in the united kingdom from your tier 4 general visa for a maximum of 12 months depending on the length of scheme or the research project once the scheme is completed you can switch in the uk to tier 1 exceptional talent only now moving on to um, the united states of america a record high of almost 8 lakh 20000 international students were studying in the united states last academic year which is 40 percent more than a decade ago the department of homeland security has said that foreign workers will enrich the nation by extending their postgraduate training in the united states those with a degree in science technology engineering and mathematics those are stem subjects are classed as having theoretical and technical expertise that are in shortage in us if these graduates apply for jobs in the same field that they studied they are able to stay in the us for on the job study and are given time to find a company willing to sponsor a longer term visa application there are more than 60 different type of visa in us but there are two um, main type of work visa for university graduates which one um, need depends upon how long you want to stay what degrees you have and what job you want to do <clears throat> u.s citizenship and immigration services is the government agency that handles these visa applications the first is f1 that is optical practical training optional practical training the vast majority of international students in the united states have an f1 student visa they have been entitled you to apply for a optional practical training at the end of your studies this allows you to stay in us for up to a year to apply for the knowledge you have learned through the work related to your major field of study if you have a degree from government's designated list of stem subjects you will probably be able eligible to extend your opt by another 17 months meaning you can stay in us for up to 29 months after graduation that will be cpt curriculum practical training this extension is designed to give you time to gain a permanent job offer sponsorship from the u.s employer which allows you to apply for h1b a more longer term visa so h1b is a for specialized fees h1b visa is the most common visa in u.s it is initially granted for three years but can be extended for six years the h1b is for uh, is for u.s companies to employ foreign experts in special speciality occupations which require degree education in the right field it is designed for jobs in the field such as architecture engineering mathematics science and medicine the h1b has cap on it only 85000 are granted each year although some non profit higher education and government research employees are exempt from this cap the h1b cannot be applied for by individuals or required to have a job offer the company who will sponsor will apply for you then we have employment based immigration to obtain an immigration uh, employment based immigrant visa there are usually a requirement that our applicant applies and obtain labor certificate this process designed to ensure that no qualified us worker exists for the position is often difficult and can take several years to complete it is therefore desirable to apply under an alternative category which lacks this labor certification requirement most graduates will fall under first preference that is priority workers this category includes the following um, persons for extraordinary abilities in science art education business or athletics outstanding professors or researchers multinational executives and managers under the extraordinary ability subcategory above the application does not require a job offer and the application can be processed fairly expediently only those applicants who have reached the top of their field can apply under this category and must intend to work uh, to continue to work in the areas of extraordinary ability in addition the application must show that this um, is his or her uh, entry will benefit the us 
multinational executives and managers in order to qualify for permanent residence under this category managers or executives of company must have been employed for one of the three years preceding their transfer to us additionally the employment at the overseas company must have been in executive or managerial capacity the us sponsoring employer must also have been in existence for at least one year and overseas company must be operating second preference is advanced degree professionals or exceptional ability members of professionals holding advanced degrees or aliens of exceptional ability although labor certificate is usually required it is possible to obtain a waiver if it can be shown that applicant's employment will be in the national interest the third preference is a labor certificate this category usually requires a labor certificate except in certain cases these um, separate subcategory exists for professionals with a bachelor's degree individuals performing a job requiring 2 years of education experience or training and other workers the fourth preference is specialty immigrants this category is designed for special immigrants and is limited to 10000 visas per year certain religious workers qualify under this category which does not require labor certificate the fifth category is employment creation for investors this category allows for 2 years conditional residency for people who invest either 1 million or 500000 dollars in underdeveloped area or areas of high unemployment in a new commercial enterprise that employs 10 us citizens or permanent residents on a full time basis and manages the business on the day to day basis the applicant can either create or, or um, an original business or the purchase of the existing business which is which results in the new commercial enterprise or the expansion of existing business so that its net net worth or employees increase by 40% the investment can be a combination of cash equipment inventory but an unsecured promissory note is unacceptable multiple in investors are acceptable but each investor must indep um, independently meet the capital and employee requirement <clears throat> moving ahead with australia unlike in some other english speaking countries there is no automatic right association with your student visa to stay on and work for the period of time in australia after you complete your degree when you receive your student visa the government lets you on the basis of temporary entry for study with the understanding that you will leave upon the completion of your course and before the visa will expire however australia continue to have the demand for foreign workers and students that have earned a degree in australia have a special work visa category there are also several other visas open for international students and australia have a significant um, have a very straightforward part to the permanent residency using a point based system If you want to stay and work after you graduate, you must apply and obtain a work visa. The Australian government has announced a plan to introduce a new post-study work visa for international students who complete university degrees in Australia. You can stay in Australia for between 18 months and 4 years after graduation depending upon what kind of qualification you have. First, you will need a temporary graduate subclass 485 visa. To qualify for the visa, you must be under 50, be in a good health, and be competent with English. An IELTS score of six or a passport from English-speaking country would be required. The two type of temporary graduate visa are post-study work uh, stream visa. This visa allow you and your family to live, work, travel, and study in Australia for between two to four years if you have graduated from an Australian educational institution within the past six months. If you have a bachelor's degree you can stay up to 2 years if you have a master's degree you can stay for 2 to 3 years and if you have a doctorate you can stay for 4 years however if your qualification is below the bachelor's degree example certificate level 3 diploma or graduate diploma you do not qualify for this visa then we have graduate work visa stream this allows you and your family to live work travel and study in australia for 18 months if you have graduated from an australian education institution within the past 6 months unlike the post study work visa scheme if you are eligible for this visa even if your qualification is below the bachelor's degree that is the diploma and trade level certificate and even if you have applied for your first ever student visa after november 5 2011 However, your qualification must be in the field which is in demand. Australia has a shortage of skilled workers in several fields, including types of engineers, medical scientists, and teacher. These occupations are listed on the skilled occupation list. To qualify for a graduate work um, stream visa, you must pass the skills assessment in an occupation on the skilled occupants list. You must find work in the um, 
in the field that is same as or closely related to the subject in which you have gained your qualification for example if you gained a bachelor's degree in commerce you cannot work as a tradesman or as a plumber other categories could include 402 training and research visa which is an another option for international students the 402 visa is for students to improve their work skills for up to two years while being sponsored by an employer 487 would be regional sponsored visa which uh, provides a pathway for permanent residency while allowing you to work for three years and work in the specialized regional area only 887 would be a skilled regional resident visa um, which awards you permanent residency and with this you can live and work in australia permanently you must have already lived in australia for two years and have a work experience and sufficient points 885 would be skilled independent resident visa which allows you to live as a permanent resident and work without needing to be sponsored. 886 would be skilled sponsor resident visa, which allows an overseas student to apply for permanent residency and work while being sponsored by an employer. In case you are interested in filing permanent residency in Australia, Australian immigration is keen to offer permanent visas to people who can contribute long term to the economy and country. Skilled migrants wishing to work in Australia will be assessed on the point based system. Um, with points awarded uh, for work experience, qualification, language, and proficiency. You have uh, to submit an expression of interest for a skilled visa via skill select process. If uh, this is accepted, you can begin application for a full visa. There are several kind of permanent visa, but the main one of the recent graduates are skilled nominated visa for subclass 190. This point uh, tested permanent visas allow skilled permanent uh, workers who are nominated by the state or territory government agency to live and work in australia as a permanent resident as well as being nominated you must be under 50 years old work in a field on a skilled occupant list and obtain a suitable skill assessment for the occupation then we have skilled in independent visa with subclass 189 if you are not nominated by the state or territory government you can still apply as an individual Again, you must be under 50 years of age, work in an SOL occupation and obtain a suitable skills assessment. As with most Australian visas, your application will be judged on the basis of point based and you must obtain a certain number of points to be successful. Then the third one is employer nomination scheme with a subclass 186. This visa is a permanent resident visa for skilled workers who are either being sponsored by an employer or who have been nominated by an employer who wants to offer them permanent position. You must be nominated by an approved Australian employer be younger than 50 and meet the skills, qualification and English requirement. And now the chart shows what kind of courses are uh, the utmost demand in Canada, uh, in Australia. It is um, topping the list is healthcare and social assistance. Then we have retail, we have construction field, manufacturing, education and training, professional scientific and technical services, accommodation and food services, public administration and safety, transport, uh, postal and warehousing, other services, administrative and supporting services, wholesale trade, financial and insurance services, agricultural, forestry and fishing, information, media and telecommunication, rental, hiring and real estate services, mining, arts and recreation services, electricity, gas and waste services at the end. Now going forward with New Zealand, the neighboring country of Australia, to be eligible for a postary work visa which is open, you must be successfully completed in New Zealand and acceptable qualification this work visa used to be known as a grad graduate job search visa a job offer is not required but the graduate certificate is mandatory there are some further requirements you will need to meet for this category for work visa before you can apply if you decide to apply for a student work visa expired you have three months to do so or six months if you have obtained a phd please note if you have completed your qualification on a limit limited purpose visa and left new zealand you will not be eligible for a post-study work visa open. This is because your policy WD2 specially requires a people to be on a student visa to be eligible for a post-study work visa. After you have completed your studies in New Zealand, you may be eligible to apply for a post-study work visa. Eligibility is dependent on a number of factors including length of study and 
the level of study. There are two streams of the post-study work visa. If you wish to apply for a post-study work visa, you must do that within three months of your date of course finishes. Uh, Post-study work visa open if you are a student who has completed a qualification or qualifications in New Zealand, uh, but you do not have a job offer, you may be eligible for a post-study work visa for a maximum of 12 months. To be eligible for a post-study work visa, uh, you must have successfully completed a qualification in New Zealand that meets study to work qualification requirements. Apply no later than three months. Proof evidence of minimum New Zealand dollars 4200 available to maintain yourself during 12 months stay in New Zealand. Uh, the post-study work visa, which is employee assisted, uh, would be for uh, a student with an offer of employment relevant to his or her qualification. Uh, you may be eligible to work visa with a maximum period of two years or three years if you are working towards obtaining a membership or registration from a New Zealand professional association, which requires more than two, two, uh, two years of relevant practical work experience. You will be eligible to apply for New Zealand post-study work visa if you have studied for uh, one academic year or more, a qualification level that is uh, above level seven on the New Zealand qualification framework. This includes graduate certificate, graduate diploma, bachelor's degree, postgraduate certificate, postgraduate diploma, master's and doctoral studies. If you have studied for a minimum of uh, two academic years, a qualification at level four to uh, six on the New Zealand qualification framework, this would include a two-year diploma, a two qualification, each listing one academic year, such as certification followed by a diploma. Now the chart shows what kind of uh, discipline is uh, um, having the highest amount of employability and what would be the least. Moving ahead with Canada. To work in Canada after graduate, you must apply for a work permit under the postgraduate work permit program. If you want to stay in Canada as a permanent resident after you graduate, there are a number of programs available, each with its own requirements. The postgraduate work permit allows students who have uh, graduated from a participating Canadian post-secondary institution to gain valuable Canadian work experience. Skilled Canada, uh, Canadian work experience gained through the postgraduate work permit help graduate qualify for permanent residence in Canada through the Canadian Experience Class, that is CED, CEC. A work permit under postgraduate work permit may be issued for the length of the study program up to a maximum of three years. A post-graduation work permit cannot be valid for longer than student study program and the study program must be minimum of eight months in length. For example, if you graduate for four-year degree program, you could be eligible for a three years work permit if you meet the criteria. If you graduate for an eight month certificate program, you're eligible to work permit for no longer than eight months period. To obtain a work permit after your graduation, you must meet some requirements. You must have studied full time in Canada. You must have completed the program, which is at least eight months. Uh, you must have graduated from a public post-secondary institution, such as a college, trade or technical school, university, or a private post-secondary institution that operates under the same rules and regulation as public institution. A private uh, secondary or post-secondary institution offering qualifying programs of 900 hours or longer leading to a diplomas, professionals or an attestation uh, or a Canadian private institution authorized by a provincial statute for, uh, to convert degrees but only if you are enrolled in one of the program of study leading to a degree as authorized by the province and not in the program of study offered by a private institution. You must apply for a work permit within 90 days of receiving your written confirmation. Uh, for example, a transcript or an official letter from your institution indicating that you have met the requirements uh, for completing your academic program. You must have completed and passed program of your study and receive a, a notification that you are eligible to obtain your degree, diploma, certificate. You must have a valid study permit when you apply for the work permit. Then we have a provincial nominee program. Most provinces and territories in Canada can nominate immigrants through the provincial nominee program. These immigrants must have the skills, education, and work experience to contribute the economy of that province and territory and must have to live there. 
सिंस जनवरी वन टू थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टीन मेनी प्रोविंस एंड टेरेटरीज है लॉन्च न्यू एक्सप्रेस एंट्री सिस्टम ईच प्रोविंस एंड टेरेटरी स्ट्रीम एलिजिबिलिटी रिक्वायरमेंट नॉमिनेशन गाइडलाइन फॉर देर पी एंड पी कैन चेंज विदाउट नोटिस Check the website of the provinces and territories for the most up-to-date information. If you are nominated under the non-express entry stream, you will have to pay through the paper-based process. And if your province or territory finds you eligible and nominates you, you will send an application to Citizenship and Immigration Canada. If you are nominated under the province or territory express entry system, you must meet the requirements, meet the minimum criteria for express entry. This includes meeting the minimum requirement for at least one of the immigration program that covers. Now, taking a glimpse of um, the streams, what are in demand, and uh, their uh, procession from 2013. to 2014 we have different classes of workers um, both working in public and private sectors and different industries which are employing uh, the domestic and the international applicant and their statistics as shown now moving on to germany germany offers attractive residence permit which enable you to accept a job which benefit your line and level of studies you can obtain them in just two steps Step one would be residence permit. While looking for a job, you can apply for an 18 months residence permit from your local foreign national registration office to look for a job that correspond to your uh, qualification. During this 18 months, you can you may take up to kind of employment to support yourself and fund your job search. If you already found a job that correspond to your uh, qualification before graduating, you can jump this step. You can. Uh, you can apply for your residence permit as soon as you have passed your final examination. Uh, to do that you would uh, usually need your passport your university degree uh, that would be as issuing university diplomas can take some time an official document from your university stating that you have successfully completed your studies will also suffice the examination office of your department of faculty will issue you nashwise this document must bear an official stamp the document proving that you have health insurance contact your health insurance fund and ask them to issue you a health insurance certificate for you prove that you have a means of supporting yourself for example a bank uh, statement or a document stating that you have been awarded a grant if you have been able to prove your ability to secure your livelihood a letter of guarantee might be an alternative solution the guarantee covers all the living cost that incurred during the stay in germany the contracting person must be a solvent or and credit worthy we recommend you that you ask your local foreign resident registration office which documents you need to bring with you before submitting your application some local offices might provide information about this on internet too um by the way if you have already returned to your country of origin after completing your studies in that case you are entitled to a 6 months visa to be able to look for a job that corresponds to your qualification in germany this condition is um that uh, you have a, a university degree and you are able to support yourself while you stay in germany please note that the visa entitle you to hunt for jobs does not entitle you to work once you find a suitable post you can immediately apply for a appropriate residence a uh, work permit while of course remaining in germany you can apply for a visa in german mission abroad in your area they will tell you exactly what condition you have to fulfill to be able to apply you can find the address of german mission abroad um, over the internet um even if uh, you have a job offer for a part time employment and residence work permit can be granted to you it is important that the expected salary secures all the means of uh, subsistence the decision depends entirely on your local immigration authority we recommend you that you ask the foreign resident registration office which document you need to bring with you before submitting your application some local offices provide information about this on internet too the german residence permit or eu blue card allowing you to take up to employment is issued for a limited period first of all if you continue to be employed and wish to have the permit extended you will be able to do this without any problem as early as 2 years after receiving your german or eu blue card residence permit you can apply for a permanent residency permit as well that is a residence permit without having a time limit again the condition is that you still have the employment in germany uh if you are planning to stay abroad uh, for a lengthy period if you have a eu blue card 
you can usually stay abroad for up to 12 months without your blue card becoming invalid. If you have a German residence work permit, you can usually stay abroad for up to six months without your permit becoming invalid. Whatever the case is, you are recommended to talk to your local foreign nationals registration office before leaving Germany for any length of time. If you were planning to spend more than uh, 12 or 6 months abroad, you must obtain an authorization from a foreign nationals uh, registration office. Without this authorization, you will not be able to enter Germany again if you have exceeded the period of 12 or 6 months. University World News has reported that regulations have just um, approved by the federal parliament to implement a European Union directive on a highly qualified could considerably improve uh, conditions for foreign students and academics in Germany. The new law provides for far-reaching changes going beyond the EU requirements. Students will be allowed to work to earn a living up for 120 instead of 90 days a year. On graduating, they can stay in Germany for 18 instead of current 12 months to seek skill post. No restrictions will be imposed on the employment during the period in which they are looking for permanent employment and federal labor agency uh, con consent will be required. A permanent resident permit will be granted for up to two years. Moving ahead with Ireland, if you are an international student studying in Ireland, you may have the right to uh, stay and work in Ireland after you graduate. Your right to work here depends on two things. Where are you from? There are different rules for students graduate from uh, the European Economic Area and Switzerland, those who come from other countries. There are more restrictions on the non-European students. If you are um, studying or working, there are two different rules for Northern Ireland, which is in UK and the Republic of Ireland. The Third level graduate scheme uh, who have received a primary degree is for the students who have received a primary degree, a high diploma, a master's degree, a postgraduate diploma or a doctorate degree from an Irish third level educational institution on or after 1st of January 2007 uh, can apply for this scheme. A person who qualifies for this scheme that is level 8 or upward qualification will be granted one non-renewable extension for this current student permission for 12 months period for level 8 to 10 starting on the day upon which they receive their exam result. This scheme allowed the person to seek employment and apply for a graduate green card of work permit. Graduates who apply for at their local um, registration office or at the immigration bureau in Dublin, if you are planning to leave Ireland after your exam or thesis submission or before taking up your work, make sure to register for this scheme before leaving the country. Non-European graduates who leave the country without having obtained official permission for the third level graduate scheme may be refused re-entry to Ireland if their stamp 2 permission has run out or may be allowed to re-enter on a tourist visa but might not be granted third level graduate scheme permission. The green card scheme, this scheme is for the employment of a highly skilled non-European nationals in um, specific sect sectors where there may be skill shortage. The green card is issued for the initial period of uh, two years only. Bulgarian and Romanian nationals who have graduated from the Irish third level institution and have obtained qualification at a primary degree or above and who have worked for 12 months or more on the basis of being a student will not be required a green card after graduation. It is available for most uh, occupations with an annual salary of 60,000 uh, pound euros or more and is also available for restricted list of occupants with a annual salary of 30,000 euros to 59,999 euros. The list of eligible occupations is available on the website of Department of Job, Enterprise and Innovation and is subject to change. You can um, then we'll move ahead for the work permit scheme. This scheme is for the employment of non-European nationals in situation where there may be labor shortages. A work permit is issued for the initial period for up to two to three years and is renewable after that. The work permit generally applies to occupants with an annual salary of 30,000 euros or more. However, some jobs are ineligible. The list of ineligible occupations is available on the website of the Department of Jobs. 
employment scheme for researchers under the hosting agreement scheme third country researchers can undertake employment with an accredited research organization in ireland you can view the full list of accredited uh, information on the website the hosting agreement can be from a couple of months to up to five years in duration stamp one a trainee accountant scheme under this scheme students uh, pursuing a professional uh, accountancy qualification aca acca uh, cima cipa may obtain a stamp one a trainee accountant permission for the balance of their seven year time period for the remaining in the state as a student all trainee accountants holding stamp one a are required to sit a minimum of three examination per year to pass at least two examination per year successfully to complete two workplace objective each year as a minimum requirement non european graduates on stamp 2 and stamp 2a student permission who having studied in ireland and have completed qualification grant by an irish authority and uh, who have not exceeded the overall 7 year uh, time limit may transfer to stamp 1a training ad, uh, accountant permission for a balance of 7 year time limit to stay beyond 7 years the graduate would be required to secure an alternative immigration permission from uh, that of the stamp 2 and stamp 2a student or uh, stamp 1a training accounting student with this we will end the presentation i hope this will further uh, boost your morale and um, uh, will be able to help you in uh, deciding your destination to study abroad thank you very much for your time today